Hey guys, me who's Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got a bunch of stuff. I do, did get a bunch of stuff this week. Oh, Mrs. Super Soul went out for me the other night to grab some stuff from Smith's um, as they had some new stuff in stock and I could not resist grabbing them. So, where should we start? <laughs> first things first, went to Disney Store and I was able to finally get my hands on General Grievous. Very happy to be have to have him in the collect the collection for review. I will be reviewing him first because I've I've completed my toy box journey. Then I've got all of them, and um, I'm just missing Simba. He's not officially out here in the UK just yet. I'm not sure if anyone's even seen one in America yet. I'm not sure if they're officially out, but Simba is the next one, and he's the one I'll be needing to finish my set. But yes, General Grievous finishes off it for now, and I'm happy to have him. Just twelve pounds. A great figure for 12 quid as well. Uh, but if you haven't seen my other toy box reviews, please go check them out, guys. I'm probably one of the only people on Facebook, on sorry, on YouTube these days that do toy box reviews. I think I'm flying the flag for toy box, as it were. Um, there used to be a couple of other reviews, but many people don't seem to do them anymore. And then a figure that I've been dying to come out for so long. It's the Plastic Patroller from Fortnite by McFarlane's. It's basically those little green arm men you used to get as a kid. It's a fully articulated version of that, basically, with even little like things on his feet and everything. Um, I've been dying to do something with little green army men. If I can get fully posable versions of little green army men, that'll be even better. And he even comes with a little green gun and everything. So I'm hoping I can find some more of these dropped in price at a later date and I can get a whole squadron of them and do use these for my stop animation. That would be amazing as I've been trying to do it for a while now using little the little green army men from the Toy Story bucket and they're really hard to it's really hard to animate them because I'm making them sort of waddle as they walk and doing that movement is taking a long time in post-production whereas this, uh, these actual army men, I can actually make them walk properly using the articulated legs and stuff. So just an idea, but yeah, I hope I can grab some more of these uh, down the line so I can make a whole little squad of them. But for now, guys, these are so awesome. Seven inch action figures, it's by McFarlane, and it's the little green army men known as the Plastic Patroller. In Fortnite, he's available in three, in three various colours. Uh, we've only got a green variant out as the figure for so far. Well, I wouldn't put it past McFarlane's, including the other fig, like the other colours, because there is like a dark bluey grey and also like a red. So I wouldn't put it past McFarlane's, giving it a spray paint, you know, a, di a different paint and colour, and then sending it back out. So they seem to do that a lot with the uh, spawns and uh, the Mortal Kombat figures. They seem to just repaint them and send them back out. It's weird. Next up, guys, was all these are from Smiths. This is the brand new Lanyard Toys or Lanyard Toys, whatever they call that company. Uh, who did all the alien stuff, they now have Predator in their line. And these are 5 inch action figures, but they actually, they say 5 inch, but they look a lot bigger than 5 inch. These are brand new for this year, 2021, 20th Century Fox, or 20th Century Studios now. Um, and these are by Lana Toys, like I said, the same people that did the alien products that I reviewed a while back. This is the Berserker Predator, so again it is based on some old Kenner style figures. This is the Berserker. And we do have a couple of others to show you as well. Predators, the most deadly elusive hunters in the universe, have now chosen Earth as their otherworldly hunting ground. Special forces, police and intelligence operatives now aware of these deadly creatures have united to track them down. But really, who's tracking whom? Utilising advanced alien technology, these deceptive extraterrestrials have an array of weapons for any situation or environment. From dense tropical jungles to concrete laden cities, these unseen predators stalk their prey and will only leave with trophies in hand. Test your metal and choose your predator. Grab them before they disappear. Let the hunt begin. There is 25 points of articulation on these. It comes with wrist blades, smart disc, plasma bazookas, ele ele electric claws and combo stick. Wow. It comes with a lot of stuff and it's got some cool artwork on the back as well. Love that predator shot. Um... This one doesn't actually light up, but I have the big one that does. So this one's the Berserker Predator, the Hunter series, seven, oh, it's seven inch fully posable figure. So seven inches, that should be almost NECA style size. We'll have to do some comparisons because I do own the Berserker Predator in, from NECA as well. And then all we've also got the Jungle Hunter. Again, I own a Jungle Hunter in NECA form as well. Comes with all the same sort of weaponry. That's very cool. 
looks awesome. It's all camouflage as well. And then, whoosh, the City Hunter from, from the second Predator movie. Again, really cool. I own this in the uh, thingy version as well. Oh, it looks so good. Can't wait to fully review these guys. I'll be reviewing them in the coming days because I'm very really excited. Um, I won't rush through them. A lot, a lot of reviews did all three in one video. I'm going to take in my time. I'm going to do one, one alien, sorry, one figure per video for these, and I'm going to compare them to their Necker uh, figures as well. And I might even try and compare them to some old kind of stuff. So stay tuned on that. And to round out the haul, guys, I couldn't resist grabbing this guy as well. It's also from Lana Toys, except this guy has a removable helmet and. Whoosh, a ridiculously bright LED. Look at that. Ooh. Um, I must I was I thought this thing talked, but it doesn't talk, you know, it's just got the actual light. So I'm I'm guaranteeing they'll release another one that talks, because they did this with Alien. They released one that did like movable stuff. Like that. They released one that could do the movement stuff, and then they released another one, another alien queen that made sounds and lights later on. So I'm guaranteeing they'll release another one of these that has sound that has sound attached to it, so. Stay tuned on that. But yes, can't wait to play with it properly and see what else it can do. So it looks awesome. And that's the 12 inch Predator. 12 inch poseable action figure with, with open action jaw. Try my super LED. We'll try it again because I do like your super LED. <laughs> Very awesome. Battle action figure, that one's called. So guys, these were all available at your local Smith store here in the UK. So if you want to grab them, that's where you'll find them now on Smiths. Also check out the website, they were available for click and collect except the big guy. The big guy was not available for click and collect or, or for home delivery. Uh, we have the Plastic Patroller, I got him from eBay. Um, I haven't found this available in any stores in the UK yet, I managed to find a, an American seller. Um, toy boxes from your local Disney store guys, please check out your local Disney stores to find them. Not a bad haul, right? I really enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, make sure you tune in for all the reviews that will be coming up this week. I've still got plenty more on the floor stuff to get through as well. We've still got plenty of videos coming up that you're not going to want to miss, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, and leave us a comment. I am replying to most comments and nearly every single comment that I can, so please do leave us a comment with any questions you may have. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, may the force be with you. Bye.